Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions in the video request, make sure to drop on below in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization, because they were mo mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert in doing anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel? I don't have any courses to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. But I respect your decision. Now let you choose. But just a like button, that's all I'm asking. If this video helped you out, and here I am back again with another requested video, which is how to show the sale badge on the product images on the product pages on your Shopify store, because we already know the sale badge does not show up on the pictures, I mean on the product pages, it only does that on the cards, but not on the pictures on the product page. In this video, I will show you how to add the sale badge on the pictures, on top of the pictures, just like the cards, but instead on the product page. And we will do that again by using our own custom code without using any apps or anything like that. So without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. I mean, every video I do post on my channel, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most reused one and also it's the most requested one. But in here, if I scroll down, I have every other most used free teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each one of my tricks on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And I'm sure it will, because as I said, I do try it behind the scenes so I don't bore people in the video. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it in the in the video on down team and you might be thinking maybe it's not working for the others. No, it does. It is working for every other team in here in this list as you can see. And without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to show the sale badge on the product images on the product page just like this one right here as you can see. If you are interested in rounded corners, on the shadow effect as well, or anything you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So anything you see in the Shopify store, I did it in the video. So if you saw something, you like it, you want to implement it on your Shopify store, once you see it on the, on the store, that means I already made that video. It's already made on the channel. So for example, this one right here, uh, also centering the title for the product and centering the prices on the cards, make sure to check out the channel. So let's just check out this one. This one has sale, as you can see, badge in the picture. But if I access the product image, uh, the product page, sorry, as you can see, the picture doesn't have sale badge. It only exists right here. So in this video, as I said, I will show you how to add the sale badge on top of the picture right here. Yes, we will do that. And you can actually change the color for it. Uh, change the color to any color you want. I mean, for the badge. So let's just keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in the Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find a specific file. And instead of looking at the folders here to find the file, simply use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in uh, product dash thumbnail just like you see, and you're gonna see a file called product-thumbnail.liquid, just like you see. Click on it, bunch of code will show up, and in here we need to find a specific file, a specific code, sorry, on this file. And to do that, click on the code just like you wanna write something, and don't write anything. Then click on the keyboard. If you are using Windows, click on Control F. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. Then in here, uh, as I said, we need to find the specific section and simply paste in that section. Just like this. And you might be thinking where we're gonna copy this so you can paste it. 
Scroll down description box as always, and you will see a call to copy, and copy this call, get back in here, paste it, and hit enter on your keyboard, and here we go, it will highlight the code in here as you can see. So let me close this. We found the section that we need. So in here, uh, we need to create some space to paste in some code. Click front of the section we did look for, which is this one right here. Click like this front of it. Then again, hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go, we are a completely new line to post some code. And in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then he get back to you the code, then come back to this video, okay? I'm just joking. Scroll again the description box and you will see a link named it as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code as you can see. So this is the code that will do the trick for us. Simply select the whole code in here. Make sure to select everything. Then right click, copy, get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. Let's just paste it in here. Now let's just click on the save button. Wait a couple of seconds, it save it. We will get back in here, reload the page, and see the magic. Here we go, as you can see. So, as you can see, it did add sale badge, as you can see, to the picture right here in the corner. And yes, it's red and it's bold. If you don't want that, <laughs> you can actually see background. This is a color. If I uh, Google it like this, it will show a color, red, as you can see. So, play around and uh, change the hex code just like here and if you don't want it bold simply remove this line right it says phone weight bold as you can see and if you are familiar with css you can actually customize with this uh, like values right here and you can customize the badge to make it look exactly how you want but in this case i think my job is done so if you have any questions make sure to drop them below in a, in a comment i will be happy to help you out and i'll see you in the next one